We're here now at Aspie St. Ledger's. We're really, really busy at the moment, so let's get unloading and let's get on with the job. Hey, good morning guys. So today what we're doing, we're here now at Aspie St. Ledger's. One of the YouTube guys who watches us uh, reached out to us and said, look Tony, can you come along, give us a hand on this roof? So I said, yeah, absolutely fine. So I've come across, uh, we're really, really busy at the moment. So we're trying to slot it in for him because obviously he wants to crack on with this build. What I've got, I've got Matt who's with us as well. Morning Matt. Hello. The, uh, and then what we've done is the brickies have got it, the wall plates bedded on over this side and this side and then we've got some trusses that have been delivered here. We're going to be setting up the G-decking inside each of the bills because there's a huge hank route to put on over there and obviously this is a truss roof so we've got these trusses here to go up on there so we'll start working on those today. Hopefully by tomorrow we'll get that all wrapped up. That will be all then done. So let's get unloaded and let's get on with the job. Hey, good morning guys. So today what we're doing, the brickies have got it, the wall plates bedded on over this side and this side. This is a truss roof. So we've got these trusses here to go up on there. So we'll start working on those today. Hopefully by tomorrow we'll get that all wrapped up. That will be all then done. So let's get unloaded and let's get on with the job. Hey guys, um, this is the truss drawing. So I'm going to zoom in on it a little bit like this so we can see what's going on. You can see it's burst mouth here bird's mouth here we've actually got a measurement to the outside of plate to outside of plate here which should look good so i'm just going to double check that so the overall mm. measurement to outside outside is 3780 so the overall is 4680 uh, what i can see at the moment is the 40 degree pitched roof we've got some big old timbers being a vaulted ceiling uh, i then move across to the actual plan layout you can see We've actually got some hangers across here and another hanger across here. There's another one on there and on there at a lower level as well. You can see the way the bracing is up and down like this. Keep the roof uh, nice and uh, stable. And then some more bracing here and some more hangers here. You can also see all the trusses are set out at 600 centers. Bird's mouthed in and then obviously a clip system I think has got to go in. Sweet, that's it then. So that's what we're going to do. We're now going to crack on, get some tools set up. Uh, and then get it all marked out so the straps don't get in the way. So guys, what we've done is Will has uh, kindly bedded these plates on for us now. Me and Matt have set up all the G-decking inside. So what we're going to do now is we'll mark out the trusses on either side over here. And then obviously we can then start fitting the trusses on. 3775 again, we've been finishing our way a little bit mate. It. 3770 then mate, it's going to be mate, alright, we'll keep it as tight as that, we'll cut all of the trusses off for that mate, alright. Next 600, which is there. Uh, if I put these about every metre, that looks close as a metre. I can soon mess around with them in a minute. The reason I always mark out my trusses first is because then when I come to them put the straps on, I don't want my straps fouling them my trusses. So I'm just now checking where I'm locating these and none of them are fouling here. Uh, where the truss is going to go which is good so happy day so i can actually now get these fitted on these are the straps that they've supplied right we need to get a cordless and get some screws in job done is just for a bit of a quick speed instead of doing loads of calculations I know from outside the plate to outside the plate is 3770 taking a measurement from here measured down take a measured from here I've then done increments then of two meters two one two 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 three two four and then obviously 50 mils 
and actually then doing the same down that so I know that when I measure across this span distance here and it'll be absolutely spot on to where my bird's mouth and I've just then checked it at 2450 here 2450 over there doing the span and then comes to then 3370 which is absolutely beautiful so now I'm going to set the bird's mouth up to be a third of the timber which this is here this is 224 so half of that is 74 mil 74.6 uh, but I'm just doing 75 mil so all I'm going to do now is I've got my strike line here I'm just going to put that on the pencil there like that and then that means that represents then I've already now set this up to a pitch of 40 degrees because that's what the pitch of the roof is I'm just going to move that along there all I've got to do is just move that down a little bit until there you see and that's the great thing I love about Dan Square it'll just mark this bird's mouth and this bird's mouth that's it it's done so all I've got to do now is I'm going to cut this I'm then going to place then each of the uh, trusses on each one of this and then I'm just going to mark it up, that's it, that's all I'm going to do. I can take the overall measurement you see, 40 degree, we're down square, so that's that. So I'm going to check 2-4 which is there, so that's that. Sorted. And then the plum cut. What I'm going to do now is so I'm just going to double check the parallels to make sure I'm happy with that. birth mouth and then I'm going to put the clips on here just going to uh, double check the measurement and then I'm happy to so use this as my template then just going to make sure it fits up there beautifully it should hopefully fingers crossed and then uh, I'm just going to cut them all get them all done and then we can then put them all in uh, one by one so that's, that's the plan Because I'm using this truss as a template, sometimes because these trusses have been standing quite a long time, so obviously they've moved in weather and time. And uh, what we're doing is that we're lining up through with the top of the the cord here, making sure the ridge is falling in line, and then obviously going to get this in line because then it's consistent on the burst mouth. And all we're doing then, you'd probably just see me that I've utilised this screw here. Here's the hammer. And I'll show you in a minute what should we do and just do that and it pulls it across and then Matt's now marked that up. I'll mark out the other side but you'll see now when Matt undoes that in a minute, you'll see this spring back. So you watch this now, as soon as Matt undoes this, see look, see it spring back. And the whole purpose is, is that what I do is we put a screw in here, put my hammer in there, just pull it like that. And I always pull it past slightly, only slightly past, like a mil or so, because then when Matt puts the screw in, it just naturally springs back, okay? Come on, 
Antônio. What we've done is this first truss we've just locked it off really really well because what we, me and Matt want to do is we want to pull all the trusses in this way and then just lean them all in and once we've lent them all in we can then just then work away from down there all the way up here and then just set them all out, get them nailed and get them truss clipped in and then we can then start putting all the braces in so do that, so do that. You in? That's lovely, mate. Push that down, mate. That's lovely, mate. That's lovely. That's sweet, isn't it, mate? So I'll get the puzzle on this, mate. Yeah. Two in as before, mate. Just give him about half inch, three quarters an inch up, mate. That's so. all. go guys in one day me and Matt Matt all, uh, got the braces on got all of these 17 trusses on nailed it all up all we've got to do now is get all the clips on got to get the braces on and that's it we can then go get on to the next job right morning everyone uh, yeah so back at it today we're going to be finishing off the rest of these clips we've got some truss clips on here we've got the positive nail ready uh, we're going to put positive nail every single one of these holes just strengthens these uh, trusses up a little bit and then after that, me and Tony are going to get the bracing done. Go to the plan for the bracing plan. Yeah, and we'll get that done and finished off. So, me and Matt have been cracking away. We've um, got the first day with Matt, uh, got all the trusses in, put the lateral straps in. Matt's just finished off all of the uh, truss clips. Uh, the one thing we're going to do now is we're going to look at all of the bracing. You can see it sort of runs like this. So we're going to do exactly the same and then do the last bits here. Now we can see from the back of this roof on the garage, you can got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on the seventh one, it goes all the way up and back down again. And then we've got then that seventh point, then one, two, three, four, five, six. So exactly the same. And then the last load, so what we'll do, we'll mat that up. The one thing we're gonna do, guys, is make sure that we've got all these that are beautiful 600 centers. So the first timber I'm gonna run in is the ridge one like this. And the reason being is that then I know before I put all of these diagonal braces in, I know that all the ridges are then gonna be at 600 centers as well, because it's really important I do that. So me and Matt will get that through first and then we'll start putting all the diagonal bracing in. And then the last thing we've got to do is just put the straps on here as well. Obviously we've got the high level straps in and the low level straps, which will um, get all those sorted out. So yeah, so that's about it really. Two days, garage roof on, finished. Let's crack on. So as I was saying earlier, me and Matt, we're gonna nail the ridges up first. Uh, the one thing we're gonna do is we'll then mark on here 600 centers. So as we offer it up, we can then push it across, bang it in then, can't we, mate? So we're yep. sorted then, and then uh, that's the way we're gonna go about it. 
so you can see here putting the markers up the 600 centers We know this is pretty going to be pretty good with 600s like that, yeah? yeah? So I'll nail this one if you nail your 600. That looks good, man. Yep. There you go. So we know that as if we make it like 3.2, we measure 3.2 that way for the back. That's that little bit thick, buddy. We like that? Yep. So if I just mark this angle here now. I'll cut that now, mate. You just drag that out. Yeah, that's the one in the back. Yeah, that's it, Matt. Okay. Better a bit more. Lift it now, Matt. That's it. That's that love, mate, yeah? Pretty lovely. Good. Is yep. that butted in all right? Yeah. Good there as well, Matt. So there you go guys, uh, that's how to put a, a truss roof on, on a garage. It's the same principle on a house. So let's just break it down. The first thing we did was put all the wall plates on that were supplied. Then we then put all of the lateral straps on. Then we then marked out all of the relevant truss centers at 600 centers. We've then done the burr's mouth on the actual rafters themselves and then fit them all all the way along. We've then nailed them all up. Then we've got the truss clips on. And the last thing that we then did is then brace it all up with the actual bracing to give it rigidity. The first brace that we put on was the ridge brace to make sure we match it all up as to the 600 centers. And then uh, obviously then all the cross bracing, but you can see, look, how solid is that? That's just not going anywhere, is it guys? And then all we're gonna do now is pack up and go home. <laughs> 